As Austin's massive ongoing transportation plan, Project Connect, moves forward, KXAN investigators are digging into its progress and its cost. Last week, the organization overseeing the project, Austin Transit Partnership, passed a more than $90 million budget for the upcoming year. But KXAN investigator Avery Travis has more on why at least one board member said he was concerned the corporation's planned spending is excessive. Voters approved the tax hike to try to address the growing congestion on Austin's roads. But a major piece of the proposal, the light rail design, is now being reviewed. And other parts of the project are still several years away from breaking ground, which is why one board member, Tony Elkins, who has a background in finance, said he wanted to have a frank discussion about how much money ATP is planning to spend this soon. He specifically called out the 87 full time employee spots authorized for this coming fiscal year because around a third of those spots are still empty. KXN obtained 2022 payroll records for ATP, which show it currently pays more than $6 million to a staff of 41 full time employees. The records also show another million dollars reimbursing CAP Metro staff who've been working on Project Connect and then some temps and consultants who at one time or another made 55 to $250 an hour. In the meeting, board member Elkins questioned why roughly $30 million was set aside to pay one of the key engineering consulting firms on the project. The budget director made it clear those funds were appropriated in budgets from previous years and the final amount is still being negotiated. Elkin said he just wanted to emphasize a balance between hiring the right people for such a large undertaking and staying lean in order to be able to pivot. I don't feel it's where we need to be at this stage of the program. I think maybe in a year or two from now when we have a dedicated project, um, we're geared up and running. Austin Mayor Steve Adler, who also sits on the board, proposed a compromise. Approve this budget with a directive that the executive director of ATP give the board notice before reaching full staffing so they can raise concerns if need be. It's more of a parameter within which you can work flexibility. The board chair said later in a statement that the budget they passed actually reduces personnel costs by about $2 million from the year before. Plus, she said this budget will be instrumental in moving the project forward, but also in getting funds to people and businesses who might be displaced by its development. In downtown, Avery Travis, KXAN Investigates.